Welcome to the wonderful world of reading. In this I Can Read story, Splat the Cat and the Quick Chicks, you will be going on a fun adventure. Are you ready to read? Here we go. Splat's class had class pets. Twelve chicken eggs. Very soon they would hatch. Then they would be chicks. Mrs. Wimpy Dimple asked, Would someone take the eggs home to watch tonight? Quick as a wink, every paw flew up. We'll pick sticks, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple said. Whoever picks the longest stick takes home the chicks. One by one, every cat picked a stick. Plank picked a long stick. Kitten picked a longer stick. Splat picked the longest stick of all. Hooray! Mrs. Wimpy Dimple helped Splat get the eggs packed up. Just keep an eye on them and keep them warm, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. That will do the trick. Splat carried the eggs home, slowly and carefully. No skips, no kicks, no quick, sudden moves along the way. Splat made the chicks a cozy nest in his drawer. At bedtime, Splat said, Good night, chicks, and turned out the light. Click. Early the next morning, Splat woke with a start. He felt a peck on his ear. He felt a tickle on his foot. Splat looked in the nest. The eggs had hatched. The chicks were out and about. Two chicks were on Splat. But where were the rest? Cheep, cheep. Splat's ears pricked up. He followed the sound. He found two chicks in his thick, warm socks. Splat found two more chicks snuggled up to the clock. Tick, tick, tick. Splat looked in his toy corner. There was a chick in a truck. There was a chick in Splat's magic trick box. One chick was sitting in the paint box. Ick! And there were two chicks in the house made of snap-together bricks. Splat had found eleven chicks, but one was still missing. Splat was worried sick. Then Splat heard a pick, pick, pick. He turned around in the nick of time. There was the last chick. It picked and pecked at the basket. Then it hopped away. The other chicks went with it. Stop, chicks, said Splat. Splat chased chicks up and chased chicks down. Chicks fell in, but chicks hopped out. Wet feathers drip, drip, dripped. Splat stepped into a puddle. Splat! The chicks stood all over Splat. We better get to school before you run away again said Splat. Splat led the way. The chicks followed each move. With skips and kicks, the good little chicks got to school lickety-split. Splat's class was so surprised. Instead of twelve eggs, now there were eleven chicks, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Splat, where is the missing chick? Oh, no, thought Splat. But before he could get worried sick, Splat heard a cheep. Cheep, cheep. Phew, said Splat. These chicks are quick. 